First year 500, day three. A little bit cooler conditions today. I'm taking advantage though of a southerly wind that we have here to ride from Torquay to Ballarat. So behind me here, Janjuk. Actually, famous location just around the corner is Bells Beach, which you may have heard of. So we're down here for some family commitments, some family time. And I was going to ride down here if it was a northerly wind, but it's a southerly. 123 k's on the cards. Got all afternoon to get it done. I'm looking forward to this. The sun's not out, but I am tasting sunscreen. So, back on the road bike again today, the 454s, the GP5000s, the newer models. And the only modification I've done to the bike today, car back, is the bar bag on the front, given the distance that I'm going. And I need more food and more spares. I'll show you that now. There's the bar bag. There's the camera on the front. And it does have charge. Have the Garmin 1030 Plus on the front with the route loaded. Hang on, let me get down this hill before I continue talking. That's better. 1030 on the front with the route loaded. Climb Pro tells me there are seven categorized climbs over the next 123 kilometers. This being one of them. <laughs> I've deviated a little bit from the route to get off the main road. Boxing day, lots of traffic around, especially along the surf coast. This is going to be today's ride. It's gonna be a long day in the saddle. But we do have the front camera on and it does have battery. All right, let's get up the road before I check back in with you guys. Fifteen k's in, a lot of crosswind for the first fifty k's. So it's about half and half fun and not so fun at the moment. Now this little section of road I have history with. Back in 2011 or 2010, I think it was, right about here, I broke my hip. It was part of the Geelong tour, a couple of the short little road stages at a time trial that I never got to. Stage one, there were some point scores for sprints. And just along here, we were told we couldn't cross the white line. So I started my sprint on the white line, thinking I'd have a clear run, or the best chance of a clear run. There's a sprint line just there. What happened was someone went around the outside of me on the wrong side of the road, where they shouldn't have been. Someone up the left-hand side of me saw that wheel go and just crossed in front of me. I ended up high siding and breaking my hip. Uh, didn't realize I'd broken my hip until they had the scans, but something was up in here, down in that area. Pubic rami, or pubic rami, is what broke. That wasn't fun. However, my bounce back from that probably took my cycling to the next level. Car back, I'll get this story done quick. So my recovery from that was really, really focused, really, really short. And within nine weeks, I was putting out my 20 minute PB power. So I was quite lucky in that respect. Car back. Never a fun experience. Um, I can't actually recall if I did a collarbone as well at the same time. Possibly did. I've done four collarbones. Let's not talk about that. Let's get back into this ride. Slide wind again.
me. So, this obviously wasn't on the cards, a gravel section for my 120k road ride, but luck of the draw, <laughs> in the middle of pretty much the outback Australia. Uh, yeah, mapping surfaces have a long way to go in regards to the definition of road surfaces. Hmm. Anyhow, I guess what we have today is a gravel test of the GP5000 STRs. 28 mil tires inflated for not this surface. Car back. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, it's only 3Ks, I think. So, I'm just gonna ride it out. We'll see how it goes. See if I make it to the other side. Oh, God. Wrong bike, wrong bike. So I made it through, that was okay, but uh, not what I expected. I wanted this all to be a road ride. Now I have one section of road that I thought may have been gravel, and we're not even there yet. Ugh. Cricket's going well though. Aussies are doing all right. In for a bowl. All right, let's see what happens around the corner on the section that I think might be gravel. Feeling good. Now this is the section of road I've been waiting for, for about 50 kilometers. At about 25 k's, it's up on the plateau, blasting southerly, and as you can tell behind me, the road is good quality road. Ticking along just under 40 k's an hour at, hey, there's Shory. <laughs> That's where I bought my bike from, that guy. What's he doing out in the middle of nowhere? So I take you along at about 250 watts, near on 40k an hour. Absolutely marvellous. And the section of road that I thought was gravel, wasn't. It was sealed. So that's the only section of gravel that we'll do today. Thank Christ for that. All right. I'm gonna keep, keep tapping along with a big smile on my face and listening to the cricket. Just had to make sure I was in my easiest gear. Last climb of the day, 95 k's in three hours. I am, legs are feeling pretty good. I'm a bit cooked. Again, out of water though. Difficult to carry enough water for these long, unsupported middle of nowhere rides. Today was 750 mil and a 950 mil. I'm banking on the fact that the public water tap in Bunningyong, just over this hill, or over the next few hills, will be good to go. Oh, today's fashion on the field, brought to you by, I don't give a shit what I look like, as long as I'm seen. So, the brightest top, 
that I could find and the brightest socks that I could find. If someone looks at me and says, he doesn't know how to dress whilst they're driving their car, guess what? They've seen me, which is what it's all about out here. Climb Pro on the Garmin needs a bit of work to change topics. Probably a bit hard to see there. It lacks detail. Car back. I can hear it. The Karoo does Climb Pro the best. Or equivalent of Climb Pro. But there's some other issues with the Karoo, which we might get to this week. Climb Pro on the Garmin, it's too basic. Handy to have, the visuals give you a good indication of the hill, just not detailed enough. Whew. Aussies are doing well on the cricket. Seven for something at the moment. Apologies for anybody from the UK. But here's a sight. Oh, I wipe the sweat out of my eyes. Mount Bunningon, right there. Now I rode up that the other day. On my other video, where that guy blew my doors off. It's Nationals Road Course. That bump of a hill has been haunting me for 90 k's. I can see it out the road for 90 k's. And I'm almost there. So just about to tackle this descent here. Uh, the course I'm on at the moment, previous elite national timed trial course and women's, women's 23 and men's 23. Not sure about the juniors. I think Rowan Dennis did all right on this course. Richie Port, uh, who else has done okay? Uh, and Durbo has always been up there on this course. No longer used since the university is taking care of the sponsorship. Anyhow, nice descent coming up. I'll check back in in Bunningong. The arm was on most of the day for the sun protection. It's now about 5 p.m. so UV's pretty low. Uh, just doing a bit of an inspection of the sidewalls after that gravel section that I didn't want to ride. Uh, you can see they've taken a few bites. If anything's going to test the sidewalls, it would have been that, and it actually it really has. You can see the uh, the marks from the stones that have rubbed up against it, but they're fine. That's held up. I'm not sure how well the GoPro is picking that up, but hopefully gives you an indication that they've done okay. Not a test that I was going to do today. Um, it was just another endurance test of these tyres, these wheels, the chain oil, uh, the Rafa bag. If you're wondering which bag I'm running today, this is just the Rafa bar bag. They only have one, it's about 80 bucks, two litres. Uh, hard to get to with the camera on the front, but it just holds more stuff. Um, yeah, uh, current stats if you're wondering. 107 k's, 3 hours 26, average of 30.09. Australia's 8 for, oh sorry, England are 8 for like 150. What's going on, Poms? Okay, as Australia wraps up the ashes, let's do the final 20 k's or so home. Uh, that's going to be a pretty easy ride home, actually. I'm, I'm cooked. Still a good tailwind, though. <laughs> He just hit the curb with some creative four-wheel driving. 
So as I wrap up around the lake here, three hours 52, 119 Ks, be about 124 by the time I get home. It's been a good day. Uh, the tailwind helped a lot. The water stop I just had there in Buninyong, oh, 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 was a godsend. And Australia bowling the UK out, or bowling the palms out for less than 200. I'd say it's a pretty good day. Here's the lake. Lots of people enjoying Boxing Day as they walk around. A little bit windy though. Only good if you're riding north. <laughs> Car back. Alrighty, so today really wasn't... Uh, well, I was going to test a, a, a mirror on the handlebars, mirror versus radar, but I didn't get the chance to put the mirror on the bike before I had to pack everything up and get down south. So I guess today's test was just an extended test of the tyres, chain lube, uh, bring the front bag. Front bag on the road bike's a new thing for me. Probably a little bit too big for the roadie. Didn't affect the handling whatsoever for the riding I was doing today. I'd like probably a one liter or 1.2. Small round bag would be fun. Uh, I've just thrown an extra couple of bars in there. The CO2 inflator. Uh, what else do I have in there? A few other things. I'm also running a saddle bag. So I had quite a few spares with me today given I was out in the middle of nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. But it's good to have Mount Bunningong behind me after it's staring me in the face for what was it, 80 or 90 k's in the distance. All right, we'll leave it there. Day three, holy oh, crap, is it only day three? Done and dusted as I cool down here around the lake. Time to go home and eat some junk food and uh, start planning out tomorrow. I've got to get on the gravel bike. Hmm. Doors up, cars up, it's all happening. Oop, dodging. Anyhow, thanks for coming along for this one. Uh, I'm enjoying this series. It allows me to put together videos nice and quick and get them up to keep the algorithm happy. So let me know how you're going on your Festi 500. I'm well over halfway now. And uh, I'm having fun. This weather helps too. All right, we'll see you again tomorrow.